Our next guest is an award winning stage actor. He's appeared in movies like The Fault in Our Stars and Jack Reacher and has performed in over 100 productions in New York, LA, and now in Pittsburgh. Yeah, he is busier than ever with two productions underway, starring in Kinetic Theater's production as Sherlock Holmes and in a new Showtime miniseries. And we should say that Showtime is a subsidiary of our parent company, CBS. David, welcome back to Pittsburgh Today Live. Oh, it's so great to be back here. And happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> great day. I'm back in my hometown playing uh, Sherlock Holmes and enjoying my birthday with you guys. Oh, we're happy to have you. You grew up in New Kensington? I did. I grew up in New Kensington. I have four brothers and sisters who still live there, my mom and dad. I, it's just great to be back with family and friends. Yeah. And we, what's it feel? Oh, I'm sorry. Go I was ahead. just going to say we leave, but we always come back. I know. Right? It's, yeah. it's the that's boomerang thing yeah. that yeah. happens with yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's it like to play Sherlock Holmes? Uh, it, it's such a fascinating character because the thing about Sherlock is it's all about the details. So he observes everything. And for me, uh, it's helped me in my own life as I actually enjoy life more. And I, you know, smell the roses. Yeah. Maybe a little too deeply, but you know, <laughs> it's great. Well, I wondered, like, some, there are some actors, there are method actors who mm -hmm. stay in the role. So we wondered, like, are you walking around the house like, my dear mm. Watson, who drank the lemonade? Elementary, <laughs> David, elementary. No, uh, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's endlessly fun. Uh, my son, uh, Lex, he's the one that I f catch every once in a while walking around with my old pipe, <laughs> you know, still, you know, anyway. Well, and so t tell us about this uh, miniseries on Showtime's yeah, Showtime. It, yeah, it's uh, called The Loudest Voice, and it chronicles the rise of uh, Roger Ailes and Fox News, and uh, Academy Award winner Russell Crowe is playing uh, Roger Ailes. And I saw I the transformation. It was so yeah, incredible. Yeah, pretty uh, incredible. He's just an amazing, amazing actor. And this is you, because you play... From Fox News, Steve Ducey, right? That's correct. That's so correct. So how much Fox News were you watching to try to get it down, right? You know, the great thing is when you're playing a real-life character, it's there for you to study. So I wanted to really get involved in, uh, you know, his cadence, his mannerisms, and the backstory of the man's life, too. I really did my own Sherlock Holmes work on yeah. Steve Ducey. And it's great. And, and most of my stuff is with Naomi Watts, who plays uh, Gretchen Carlson. Right. And it was, she's the most gracious actress I've ever worked with. So how do you juggle two things at once? How are you juggling well, all of this? I mean, did you wrap up filming? We wrapped up filming. Okay. Um, I head to New York on June 24th for the premiere. We had to reschedule. Andrew Paul, fortunately, uh, was so kind enough to reschedule our uh, pay what you will for uh, the speckled band so I could attend the premiere in New York at the oh, Plaza nice. Hotel. So it's going to be a great time. Uh, you know, I'm always grateful for work, so to juggle things means you're working. Which so is a good thing. It's a good thing. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, stuff. we love to have you back in Pittsburgh. What's oh, next cool. on your on your agenda? Well, I'm gonna as if you didn't have enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna finish uh, this show, then do the next show for Connecticut called Scapino, which is hilarious, and then from there I move to uh, Cincinnati to do the regional premiere of The Lifespan of a Fact at the Cincinnati Playhouse in the Park. The life of an actor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Always grateful for the work. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us on your birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, and happy birthday. Thank you, David. And you can see David as Sherlock Holmes tomorrow through June 30th in Kinetic Theater's production of The Speckled Band and in Showtime's The Loudest Voice. And that premieres Sunday, June 30th.